Hello, this is a card reading for Friday the 20th of uh, November 2020. Um, pick a card and um, so hello, how are you? And thank you so much for the, those people who have started following me. Um, I really hope you like the channel and, uh, and well, welcome aboard. So... Just going to give the cards a quick wake up and then split them into piles of one, two and three. So just have a little think which card you feel drawn to. Pile one, pile two or pile three. So, and it's usually the first number that comes into your mind. But when I was shuffling the cards, one of the cards that jumped out was the um, goodbye to the old and, and hello to the, to the new. Um, so, excuse me if I just close my eyes and just look out the window, but it really does, um, that's the way I've always worked. So, what do I feel? <sighs> my phone goes. Um, when you stumble across a video or, or something, there's a reason why. And if you're sat here now listening to, to this reading, this is a particular message for, for you. And um, it's, it's the goodbye to the old and hello to the new is saying to you that one chapter of your life is slowly coming to the end and a new chapter is coming into, into your life. Um, there's a feeling of like, there's a feeling of tenderness around you. There's a feeling of like you've gone inwards a little bit and you've been reflecting. And I get this sense of like, you know, like what, when I grow up, we, we, well, some of us still, not me, but some people still got grandmas. Um, grandma energy to me represents somebody who, who is nurturing and loving and, and kind. And, and I just got this image of like this this energy of this person around you, like just like kind of like shuffling into the room and and wanted to pour you a cup of tea and cut you a slice of cake and saying to you, look, please don't overthink things. Please don't you 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 you're running away with yourself. Um, just take a moment and stop and breathe. Have that slice of cake that cup of tea, because things, though they are uncertain at the moment, you're going through changes and you're letting go of things that, that once served you, but, but no longer, no longer does. And everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out in a beautiful way. And even though it doesn't feel like it at the moment, it, you are going to be in a much better place um, yourself. And to help you in this process um, is to bring in a spiritual practice. Now, I love walking Maya, and I've just had a walk this morning with, with Charlene. We, we met up and we took our dogs for, for a walk. And we both were saying how much we just love being in the fresh air, even though it's, oh, well, I was going to swear then, even though it's cold. And, um, and you come back into the house uplifted. I mean, when we're in nature, we get that insight and clarity and everything that we need to know. So just bring in a spiritual practice. I know my other friend loves baths. Um, that's her, her time, her space. Bath full of warm, warm water and loads of bubbles. Um, because I haven't convinced her to completely go to a leader. But yeah, whatever it is to help you with this process, um, do some nurturing and know that you're more than more than capable so I hope that really really makes sense it, the goodbye to the old and hello is one of my favorite cards because you know nothing if we look at nature everything's a cycle so nothing lasts forever so if we're going through a challenging time we it will improve um, it always always does and you know we can't always live in a state of bliss, which annoys me sometimes, but we can't, we gotta grow. So just know, just remember that. So if you're drawn to cards number one, 
the first the f it's really weird because I've discovered something on Instagram it's called uh, oh I don't know now and I would and this was one of the cards it's the birthday the birthday card so and anyone who knows me who's had readings with me loads of times will know I do not like the birthday card birthday card is significant because it says a birth an upcoming birthday is a cause for celebration if we're not still in lockdown and um, it's a turning point it's a real turning point what else underneath it ah healed and healed and healer connect with nature so i guess if you're drawn to number one it's that sense of feeling like you either come to a conclusion or something is resolved or or, or healed or something like that around your birthday so it could be like a cause for celebration it could be that people come together um but I, I, my gut feeling is saying, like this situation that you're dealing with at the moment, um, it is going to be resolved and sorted, and you're coming out stronger. And the third card with that was the connect with nature. So again, it's like I can't stress enough how powerful nature is because, you know, when we're outside in nature, that's that's our true reality. Um, concrete buildings um, just offer shelter so we need to spend more and more time outside in nature so moving on to number two if you were drawn to number two and this is do some research and the first thing that came into my mind was studying using this time wisely to learn a new skill and studying it reminds me of the book called Sam Talk where Tyson says that we should nothing you know nothing stays the same you know things change and so we've got to be fluid in our actions and fluid in our mindset and you know just look at things as opportunities to branch off into different directions and to learn um i like that fluid in our mindset and fluid in our ways so this card indicates me you do some research and studying and learning a new skill Admit your true feelings to yourself and letting go. Gosh, it's a real theme with the cards at the moment of the transition, changes, letting go. So that sense of like you're letting go of something that no longer is working. See, that's the other thing. We, we think we know what we want. Um, but in reality, our higher selves, our future selves know what we actually want. So when something comes to an end or something doesn't seem to be working anymore, there's a reason it's come to a natural end. It's meant to come to an end. It isn't working for a reason. And it's time to, to let go and like just just stop for a moment, pause and, and listen. Go within, listen, listen. What is what what's calling you? Because what is calling you is your future self. And I feel like on, in this instinct, um, in this particular situation, is about how are you feeling? You know, like, how, what is it that you really, really, really have always dreamt about? And sometimes we have no idea, but we want to know. So let me just, it just came into my mind then. It was the sense of like, um, if, you, if you go to YouTube and or Google how to draw the flower of life, draw it. <coughs> excuse me um draw the flower of life start coloring it in and just just focus your energy on that because i have found in the past that's very powerful for making a shift in the way things are going in my life and um it's, it's just pure magic so i get the sense if you're drawn to number two you're going to be doing some studying learning a new skill but to help you in that process just you need to let go of some rigid mindsets and let go of the things that are not no, no longer working and admit your true feelings to yourself because it's okay to have days where we just feel ugh. we don't have to be a little miss positivity all the while that's not nature right drawn to three by any chance a debt paid off
a huge weight is going to be lifted from your shoulders and travel expansion and your desires within reach. So that, that feels so liberating because what my instincts were, my gut feeling was like, gosh, you've been really working upon something, you, you've been giving it your all and it's finally paying off. You put in the time, you put in the effort, you, you've you kept doing the same, um, oh, what's the word? When you, when you do, do the things and they have no expectations of the results, but you just keep doing the same and the same and the same. Like, you're just putting, putting things out there, just giving it your all, putting things out there, doing the best you possibly can, listening to your intuition, and it starts to really pay off. But it's at that point where we think nothing's really happening, that we can kind of like give up. And this card is saying, no, keep doing it because it's working. And the travel card shows me that you will be traveling and it can be in the physical sense of you traveling, I've just realized the flowers there, or it can be traveling in knowledge and wisdom and learning. But I have to admit, my gut is saying that I can see you traveling and I don't know when it will be or how, but I see you going overseas and it feels it's as far as like traveling to Australia which in these circumstances, you kind of like think, hmm, this is possible. But yeah, I do feel like that. So if you're drawn to number three, I can see you traveling to Australia. And then your desires within reach, have faith as everything's working out in a beautiful way. So this, these challenging times that you've gone through, and I feel like you've just got on with it, and you've grafted, and you've just, you know, like, you just kept on going you just didn't you didn't think oh no poor me you just thought right no this is way forward it's paying off and um and what you want is searching for you as well and yeah i i, I do feel strongly that it's australia not not america it's like going that way but my geography is not very good <coughs> I just got a cough, but it's not continuous. It's because I'm talking. And when I do t um, angel card readings, um, um, a lady pointed out to me that um, loved ones in the spirit world are coming close, and that's why I cough when I do readings. Anyway, I hope these cards have given you some clarity and insight and you know, I'll see you in a fortnight time. So take care, go for plenty of walks and, and lots of love. Bye for now.